Hi there! We're used to thinking that dangerous hunters are carnivorous animals. But not only animals get their food by hunting for other creatures, plants also can boast such eating habits. So let me introduce you to 10 super vicious plants that eat animals. For some, Nepenthes, or tropical pitcher plant, is just a bowl for water. For example, for monkeys. But for some, it's a dangerous predator. With its large bell, this plant is able to digest even small mammals. But mainly small lizards, amphibians, and insects are the prey of Nepenthes. The flower lures its prey with a sweet scent. Once inside their pitcher, the prey can't get out of it. Digestion of prey takes about two months. However, Nepenthes is not able to digest everything in its bulb. For example, the skin on frog legs is too rough for this plant. This carnivorous plant can be found in Madagascar, Southeast Asia, and Australia. Darlingtonia, or cobra lily, is a devilish plant that lures insects into its pitcher and gives them false hope. Once inside the flower, the victim sees how it seems to them as a way out, but this is not so. Darlingtonia is dotted with labyrinths. The insect trying to get out through the tunnels only gets deeper. However, this plant is unable to digest prey on its own. Bacteria, midge larvae, and slime mites are responsible for the role of digestion, and the plant simply absorbs the nutrients they release. Due to this predatory nature, it's still not clear which insect manages to collect pollen and survive. So far, the trigger plant of the genus Stylidium, or trigger plant, cannot be safely called a carnivorous plant since its motives are still not clear. Perhaps Stylidium is simply trying to protect itself from unwanted insects. Insects are attracted by a flower filled with nectar, but as long as the insect lands on the flower, the plant immediately triggers and catapults pollen all over them. Some trigger plants have sticky hairs that capture insects that have nothing to do with pollination. Trifophyllum is the largest known carnivorous plant today. However, due to the location of its origin, it has been little studied. It grows in the rainforests of Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Cote d'Ivory. It has three types of leaves. The main type of leaves is used to absorb light. The second type of leaves serves to release glue, in which insects get stuck and the plant eats them. And the third type of leaves has hooks for clinging to other plants. Rising up, it sometimes reaches over 100 feet. Portuguese sundew grows off the coast of Portugal, Spain, and Morocco. The soil in these plants is not very rich in nutrients, so the Portuguese sundew, like all carnivorous plants, found another way out. The plant beckons prey with a sweet aroma, and then, having caught the insect on sticky mucus covering all its leaves, it gradually turns the sticky liquid into sour juice, reminiscent of animal digestive juice. From the extraction, sundew will leave only the remains of chitin, the rest will be absorbed by the plant. Sundew reacts only to insects and does not pay attention to grass and leaves. This plant analyzes the victim not from the mechanical side, but from the chemical one. And only after analyzing the victim, sundew begins to act. An unusual carnivorous plant from South Africa that does not feed on its prey, Roradula is covered in sticky slime that resembles tar. But for the insect Pemeridia, this is not a problem because they do not stick to the plant and can live on Roradula even in hundreds of pieces. When other insects stick to Roradula and weaken, Pyramidia comes and absorbs the insect's juices, and the plant feeds on the waste products of Pyramidia, which store a lot of nutrients for it. Fossils of Roradula were found in the Baltic region of Europe, which indicates its widespread distribution throughout the world during the Cenozoic era. Butterwort is native to Eurasia, North America, South America, and Central America. And in Europe, it's used as a natural repellent against insects, especially against mosquitoes. Butterwort, unlike other carnivorous plants, does not lure insects with a sweet smell. This plant has its own method. The sticky mucus on the leaves reminds insects of water, and they come to quench their thirst. But insects get stuck in mucus, and the plant releases enzymes to digest its prey. Butterwort eats up the insect completely, leaving its exoskeleton made of chitin hollow. Almost everyone saw this plant in films or on the internet, and many thought it was quite large. However, the Venus flytrap is not large at all, and its trap is only about an inch long. The trap does not close immediately as the prey gets into it, but only after the victim has touched at least two trigger hairs within 20 seconds. 
The plant needs this weighting so as not to waste energy if there are just leaves fallen into the trap. Despite its name, the plant usually catches not flies, but spiders and ants, closing the trap in 100 milliseconds. Then digestive juices flow inside, dissolving the victim. Aldrovanda vesiculosis, or water wheel plant, can be called the aquatic relative of the Venus flytrap. They even have a common ancestor, a carnivorous plant that lived in the Cenozoic era. The cavities of the Aldrovanda vesicular are closing very fast. They can even slam shut in one hundredth of a second, which leaves the victim no chance to react in time. They live in water bodies of Europe, Asia, and Australia. But unfortunately, in many countries where they grew up, they've already disappeared. The moccasin plant, or cephalodus, was first found in Australia on the southwest coast of the mainland. The predatory plant emits a sweet smell and lures its future prey inside a moccasin-shaped jug, and the insect can no longer get out. The victim tries to escape, but are deceived by the semi-transparent cells inside the jug. But the flowers of this plant are much higher so that the insects that pollinate it does not get into the jug. Ants are natural pollinators, and a few weeks after pollination, the moccasin plant gives its seeds. That's all about dangerous plant species, but if you want to see something more extraordinary, visit Amazing Things channel. There you can find super unusual content. Bye! See you!